Pandora cooking pot. I opened a pot, and what did I see? I saw a child's infinite snake toy looking at me. I poked around, and what else did I see? Four beads and a Pandora bracelet. I concluded they could be made into fishing line weights. For what else did I find in the burnt bottom pot? A cookbook with dishes that included the manindi toad in the hole. This cooking manual explained how to make Cherbourg porridge, and Yaraba pancakes too. Brisbane recipe was Musgrave Park homemade tomato sauce and beans on toast. How kind! To have this Pandora treasure cooking pot to be passed on to me. Old recipes that included Nan's and Granddad's favorite bush tucker recipes. There was a recipe for Uncle Mike's Warabinda jump buck stew, another recipe for Palm Island upside down cake, or even a simple Brisbane chef's recipe, curried sausage casserole. Oh goody! This was my dad Johnny's favorite dessert: rice pudding, and also Mum's favorite bread and butter pudding, with sultana bread and jam. Even Kempsey milkshake spider. Not to forget the Kempsey coconut and chicken curry main, served on a bed of steamed rice. Quick, rush out and buy some bread, some eggs, porridge, rice, and brown sugar. Make up some powdered milk, and bring home some oranges to squeeze on the pancakes with brown sugar. That, unlike the Magindi orange, don't stop in the middle of the road, as the Magindi orange ran out of juice. You can use lemon or orange juice on top of pancakes. And sprinkle sugar as the afterthought before you eat them up. Don't forget to be like a boomerang and come back quick. A wooden cooking spoon. Put that on your list. Love ya, Ma. Love ya, Pa. Come back safe and be mindful of the traffic. As these days they peddle junk food for the folks that are on the move. For cooking with this black pot means an open campfire. Old newspapers are ripped up and burned. Some marshmallows on a stick would go astray. However, I think twice these days as being scolded by a hot candy or a hot fire, or a spitting cookpot, is nasty and wrong. Campers beware, as fires don't include any safety manual on cooking hazards, and people can run around and bump into the fire. It's scary for some. Last time I wasn't that tough. When I stood on a hot ash that had flown out of the fire, Mum kissed my foot better. But now I am bigger. It means not forgetting to keep wearing my shoes. Can you put that on the list too? Some lemons to make lemonade too. Peddling healthy options is currently an Australian constitution practice. Community announcements come and go, and family ties are the basis for our Pandora cooking pot. To teach young ones to do home chores. You can also put the brown onions on the list, as someone's uncle may be visiting tonight or tomorrow. Potatoes, tomatoes in a can, carrots, and some greens could come in handy, as I love making stew. Some bully beef comes in handy. Lentils and barley sometimes add to the main meal, especially when making Calgary ham and pea soup. Some daily protein is good, and some vegetables give us our daily roughage. Vitamins and minerals are good for our bones, nails, and hair, and we need these nutrients in our diet to feel good. Less on the sugary lollies and fatty fast foods, as diabetes is a tough illness, and understanding what causes it is sometimes part of the prevention cure. That eating takeaway foods can affect our long-term health. My dad's a fan of shopping with brown canvas bags. Environment friendly is a green movement. My family's healthy eating habits include cooking with brown or raw sugar and unbleached flour. Less on the salt and butter, and more on cooking with this Pandora cookpot. That could serve my generations of family well. Or a frying pan is cool too to use sometimes.